Okay, well, let me show you what I found. <laughs> uh, actually, there's two videos here. Uh, I'm going to stop and then go up and change, and you'll see another video. It's broken down into two sections. First is all the local organizations, and these are nonprofits and, and government organizations <clears throat> you know, that help you with housing, fixing up housing and buying housing, too, or, or even investment property. I put all, that all in here. Uh, and then the second part, the other video is... is really about how to use the internet. There's so many ways to fund things and get money on the internet to do things, whether it's fixing up houses or buying houses or, or getting problems solved with housing. Uh, that, that is, I think, just growing exponentially and, and a lot and I, know, I guess people don't know about that stuff as much, you know, and they sort of know, hey, there is something in the government, but man, there is something even more, you know, in, in these other sources that are online. So let's start doing, and actually in first class, now we're going to cover North Carolina, the town in North Carolina you're talking about. There's not a whole lot there. I mean, it's a small community it looks like, and there's usually a lot of state, I mean, uh, city money and, and county money, and nonprofit organizations, but in a small community, <laughs> excuse me, like that, there's not uh, that many uh, money sources, particularly fixing up houses, which you were interested in. Uh, but there is an estate and some other sources that are always fine. And I think you have about at least a half a dozen real good sources. And then I also sources where you could start applying. And, and also, I, I have a lot of sources in here that to contact. Because it's so hard on the internet. I mean, I've been doing research like this for 40 years or more. And what I know is I can't find everything there. Nobody can. And the best people are really down there where your home is to talk to people who know. So I put people in here who should know, who've asked, you know, people have asked that question before. <laughs> so you can, you know, get the value of that. And they're free. These are free people uh, that are there to solve these kind of problems. So I have theirs. Okay, let's go through it. And the local programs. Okay, here's <laughs> money for homeowners <laughs> who are in financial difficulty. That's right. <laughs> Don't go here <laughs> unless you're in financial difficulty. It usually works the other way around. You know, because that, that's the problem with banks and traditional sources is that they're primarily sources for people who don't need money, right? They want you to be rich <laughs> to be able to pay back the loan. Then they'll give you money. Uh, well, these places, you know, that I'm going to show you in this report are all people <laughs> when you can't get money elsewhere. So that's why I leave the banks and the traditional stuff off this report because they do a lot of advertising on the internet or whatever to find you. And it's the, these other people that I'm showing you don't advertise. They don't advertise at all. Okay, here's another thing. It's a home safe in, uh, in, in North Carolina there. Now, this is an organization that, that has money and other kind of programs to make sure you have a safe home. So you're fixing up your home. You want to make it safer, right? That's what fixing up, you know, homes are usually all about. And, and so that's why I would contact them because they're all around. You, you, you can see the contact information, you know, uh, for various counties down there. And even if it's not, your county is not listed, contact them anywhere. Call that direct number uh, or one of the local county numbers and ask them about that program. Because that sounds like it's something you could make work for you. See, the whole thing about government money is don't look for things with your name on it. You know, look for things to understand what they're giving out money for and how you could make it work for what you have to do. Oh, yeah, safe home. Well, you say, no, I want to fix up my home. But no, you want to make a safe home. <laughs> you, you want things that are safe there. So that's why. How can you use it? Okay, now here's another thing that every county has, uh, community block grant money. Now, uh, it, it's giving out locally and it's hard to find out so here's where i here's where you go to find out where this community block grant money is for your county who's getting that money because part of that money can go to fix up homes so you got to track that down and, and this is the way to do it and they even have one program there uh, you know because i guess where you live there's a problem with drinking water it's not only michigan <laughs> but it's other places so that's right they have a bunch of programs so see even if you, you got to talk to people that's what it's all about uh, okay, here's a low interest loans to rehabilitate foreclosed property. Now, I don't know if your house is foreclosed. It isn't. But I think 
See, it's worth asking. So they have money for you to take a, rehabil you know, a foreclosed property house and fix it up. Well, maybe they can put some of it for you. See, it's all about asking, you know, and that's it. You never go. So you go somewhere close and, and you ask, and they say, no, you're stupid for contacting us. <laughs> and then you say, well, who do you think? Who do you think will help you? And that's where you find the real good stuff that nobody else could find. Uh, and that, that's, to me, how the system works. And most of us are too lazy, you know, to do that. Okay, here's a source, you know, that, that it will help you for... Uh, fixing up housing uh, for people to make your home more handicap accessible. So that's what you're doing. I think you have a disability or whatever and want to fix up the houses. So that's what. Contact them with your disability. You're trying to make the home better, you know, for you to get around in this home. So they may have sources of private sources. These are people who help people fix up their houses with disabilities. So they have to be in a perfect place to understand where there may be money, you know, to do this kind of thing. Okay, also here now, here's some other programs I put in, you know, free cell phones and 500 uh, minutes free. I mean, these are programs I, I think that most people don't know about. Here's another one, free cell phones and 350 minutes free. Or discount low income for landlines and cell phones, you know, uh, people don't know. Or home internet for $9.95. You know, and you get a computer you could get for $150. Because actually, without being online nowadays, the world is passing you by. That's where all the opportunities are. That's where the growth is. I mean, everything in the world isn't there, of course, but that's where the growth is. And you don't want to be interested in growth areas because that anything that's growing is easier, better, faster. Instead of the old places that have been around for a while, they get, you know, you need a PhD to use them. And, all this kind of stuff. Okay, here's another one. Area office on the aging. This is okay. If you're over 60, you know, and actually sometimes it's 50, and actually for the government it's 40. 40 they consider you a senior because that's when age discrimination starts. But most of the programs, really money programs, are at 60. So this is the local office uh, for aging programs. Uh, so it's worth touching base there if you're 60 or so, you know, around that age. If you're not, I couldn't tell really, so <laughs> I'm guessing. Okay, now I have a bunch of, of sources that give you counseling. Okay, uh, research and counseling and do stuff that I charge for, they do for free. Okay, Th this is uh, housing counseling. This is the first time place I would go, you know, find a housing counselor in your area. These are free, that they're uh, paid for by HUD. These are people get grant money by HUD to help your problem for free. I have videos there of how people could use them. Okay, this is... If you're a vet or uh, somebody in the family is a vet, these veterans county offices will get twice as much money for you as you can do yourself or any other professional. And there's a video there of a study you know, uh, that they did about these county offices, how the good they are for getting anything you know, for vets. Okay, here's something also that I think you should keep in your hat. It's called the Business Development Center down there. You know, in, in your county, Halifax, and I think it's at the community college there. And they will help you with any kind of financial problem, any kind of management problem, because you're trying to maybe make money out of your house or with your house or whatever. Well, they help you with that. You know, you have a tax problem, you have a uh, management problem. See, they help you for, you're trying to live off your bit, your, your home. Uh, or, or generate maybe you're a freelancer and working out of your home and you have how do I write off my home or, or, or how do I do marketing and things like that they'll help all that thing legal help how do I get that that's all for free there you know and they help you for free and they cost you nothing and that's why if you google that kind of stuff it's going to cost you normally 211 now this is a database of information of free stuff this is, you go to Google and 99, 44, 100% of the stuff on Google is people charging you something because they have to pay to be there or pay to figure out how to get on the first couple of pages. So they have to get money from you. These people in 211 are people who offer things for free. They're government offices, nonprofit organizations, so you should know about them. And you could call. You could call right now and ask them about fifth, uh, fix up money. So 211 down in North Carolina, if you call and you're Maryland, you call, you're going to get the Maryland one. You don't want the Maryland one. <laughs> and see, so you could use their database or call. So I think you should do both. 
because you what you have to do is the problem with databases going online is you have to know the questions to ask you know that's why we're the question marks from suit and asking the right question is important you know like here on Google uh, I'll show you how if you put in Google for mortgages you know you get 127 million websites on Google for mortgages you know you go to in 211 put it you get 15 there in North Carolina there's only 15 people that help you with mortgages for free <laughs> everybody else is going to sell you something you know on Google here minor home repair and that's that's for uh, uh, North Carolina debt counseling you know all this stuff it's a wonderful source child care you know there's two for that so it's a wonderful source to have now also remember your library again they may know you have ask a librarian go to the website just make a call and say hey I'm looking for this and also what they have there too is two wonderful databases you know uh, from what's called the foundation center and these from uh, foundations these are people who really give out grants and see foundations there's a couple hundred thousand of these things but and nine ninety percent of them don't even have websites so that's why this database is so important. Now, most of their money is given to nonprofits, but they have about 10,000 programs for individuals. And see, that library will know where to get that for free, so you don't have to spend a hundred bucks or a thousand bucks. You know, some of these databases are up to a thousand bucks. You know, and, and you don't want to spend that kind of thing if you're just going to look for it. And actually, if it's at your library, they'll help you for free. And actually, here I have a video there of a library. A lot of libraries will help you on the internet for free you know what they'll do is help you set up a business on the internet or help you with your you know uh, Facebook account if you're unsure about that one-on-one -on -one counseling you know which is terrific okay uh, and then I explain those two databases uh, there and here's nine hundred ninety five dollars uh, another internet access uh, one okay state programs this is where you have a lot of programs should be worried about. Now look at this. Here's $36,000 if you can't make your mortgage payment. That's right. The government's giving you $36,000 because you're having trouble making your mortgage. So many people now lost their jobs, their income's going down or whatever, and they still have a mortgage. So it's to help that. Here's free legal help to prevent foreclosure uh, or get part of your mortgage loan forgiven. Now, isn't that amazing? So in other words, you, you have a mortgage maybe for $150,000. Well, how about getting $50,000 of that forgiven? That's right. So that's available. Uh, okay, part of your mortgage, $50,000 to pay off your second mortgage. That's right. So the government pay, and actually what they do is, is they have a, um, they, if you stay in your house for X number of years, it's forgiven. So you don't even pay it back. And a lot of these are 0% interest. So here's $36,000 uh, forgivable loan for veterans to make mortgage pay payments. Local banks give you government grants to put into your savings account. These are wonderful things. Look in your area in North Carolina. You have 13 programs like that. So these are our nonprofit banks that they get extra government grants. If you put in a dollar of savings account, they put in $3, $5, $8 sometimes, you know, as that. So it's a wonderful thing people that don't know about. Okay, here's help paying your heating and, and um, uh, heating bills and make weatherization repairs. That's a repair program. So you're trying to fix up your home. Okay, so that's money that you could use to fix up your home too because you want to make it more energy efficient, right? So that's the kind of money. You should investigate that. Uh, okay, grants and technical assistance for historical property. Maybe your historical property, if it is, there's there. Uh, $50,000 to help buy a home. <laughs> Here's three ways. Okay. Alert, alert, alert. There's three ways to get money to repair your home, okay? So this is important. Look at three ways. A single family rehabilitation program. Sounds like you, right? Urgent repair program. Sounds like you. Displacement prevention partnership. <laughs> I don't know if you're moving, but, you know, look at it anyway. But that's obviously fix-up money. You know, that's government-supported money. So it's going to be cheaper or free than you can get anywhere else. Get an extra $2,000 from him, uh, Uncle Sam because you purchased at home. Uh, okay, here's another fix-up money. 
weatherization, $6,500 for weatherization. Okay, so that's more money to fix up your home. Housing and home improvement assistance. Whoops, there's some on there. And actually that program I think is fans or something. Uh, but check, because they may have more. People, you know, when they write up these things, you know, it's never the whole uh, ball of wax and there's always things, you know, hiding in file cabinets that uh, don't show up on the internet. So that's why somebody is in that area close to the subject. Uh, they may have something else that they're not even putting on their website. Okay, if you have a mortgage, contact this hotline because the government has a whole kind of programs now that let you, you know, get discounts on your mortgage and and paid off cheaper and everything. And this is from the housing crisis. Okay, 50% discount on homes if you're looking to buy homes. Uh, sources of homes, you know, for buyers in, in your state. Or HUD homes for sale. Or free independent counseling for reverse mortgages. If anybody's talking to you about a reverse mortgage, make sure you contact these people first. Because anybody who's trying to sell you a reverse mortgage, making money off of you, and they don't really have your interest in mind. They may pretend to, but they can't. They're just motivated so differently. These people get grants to help you get the honest information with nothing to sell you. Okay, alert, alert, alert. This is a program for you, too. This is grants for repairing houses. Okay, this is from the Department of Agriculture. So it's small towns where you are. They're grants and loans just to repair uh, houses. So even if it's a loan, it's going to be cheaper than you get anywhere else <laughs> and nicer people to deal with you know, than you can in, in working with you know, some bank who's owned by investors in Wall Street. Single-family direct loans, single-family uh, what, guaranteed loans, okay? So that's the basic thing. So we have a, you know, a handful of programs in there for rehabilitation money, other sources that you should follow up on and, and make sure you, you don't miss something. I mean, it may take you an hour to go through those phone calls or whatever, but what the heck? What did you do the last hour? See, that's the important thing. And, and this hour at, that you spend will have an opportunity I'm giving you gold, so it's a golden hour, <laughs> and so it's an hour worth spent. Uh, okay, so follow up on that and come back and watch part two. Okay, now let me go over some of the, let's say, non-government money sources and the non-money government sources <laughs> for housing. Okay, first is is peer peer-to-peer -peer loans. I mean, everybody knows that you know the traditional loans. You know, you go to the bank and and you know to give them money to lend to somebody other, you know, money, and they make a lot of money. They make middle, and if you go to the bank to borrow money, you get charged a lot, and if you go to the bank to save money, <laughs> you don't get much. So that's why these peer-to-peer -peer loans that are now popping up on their website, man, I think this is going to revolutionize everything. Not overnight, but it's growing. I mean, there's billions and billions of dollars now here, uh, and it's a place to get money without with cutting out the middleman. In other words, so if you go to a bank and, and put in a dollar or something, they're only giving you like 1% nowadays on, on your money. You know, and then if you go to borrow, they're charging you 10, 12% or something like that. So now on these peer-to-peer -peer loans, what happens is that uh, individuals go to the website and, and lend money to people, but in mass, so that you get 100 people lending you $10,000 or something like that. And so they're getting three or four percent, and you're only getting charged like four, five, six percent, seven percent, or something like that. So that's why everybody's winning, you know, except the fat cats on Wall Street, who the investors in the banks, you know. And it makes it just a lot more personal and everything. So that's why I think there's a lot of reasons why this is going to grow. So I got some of the more popular ones. A lot of them, these are for businesses and things like that, for small businesses, large businesses, and, uh, that people use them, individual loans. Uh, and see, what's neat about this stuff is that it, it, it's 
so much easier. It's faster. You know, and also here's the banks, you know, for community development uh, financial institutions. These banks are banks, but they're friendly community banks, like the old ones in the movies. You know, what was that movie with Jimmy Stewart, you know, <laughs> uh, where he had a little community bank and everybody was borrowing money from them and the bank was going to go bankrupt and everybody's going to lose their house. Well, that's how these banks work. You know, they're involved in the community. Not, they're not invested because of, you know, they have to uh, make people alive. Wall Street happy, it's the community. So that's why they're friendlier, they're nicer, they're lower interest rate. Okay, also you can make a lot of money from your home from the shared economy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you read about this, but this is really taking over so much of our, our world now because of the internet. It's a way people are using the internet to do things themselves, make extra money, cut out middlemen, you know, nothing's traditional anymore. This is why more people are earning money, you know, part-time on the internet and stuff like that than traditional jobs now, it seems. And that seems to be the way things are going. And they're piecing together different kinds of income. Well, now with a home, that's, that's an asset. You become now a capitalist because you own a home or even rent an apartment or anything. You could act like a capitalist <laughs> and make money from the fact that you own a home, not just your labor, you know, or you're at a home or you have a place, you know, and one way is through Airbnb. I don't know if you know about this. This is like instead of hotels, people are using Airbnb. This only started like five years ago or so, you know, and, and now they're they're a bigger company than any of the big hotel chains. They're they're probably the most valuable company. That, <laughs> they're more valuable than any hotel chain. They're something like $50 billion now. It depends on who you count, some like 40 or whatever. I mean, Hyatt Hotels is only like 13 billion. But see, what's interesting about Airbnb, they have only like two or 3,000 employees. Hyatt Hotel has like 130,000 employees or something like that. Yeah. But Airbnb, is making money for like a million people and now i've read like a million and a half people so it's a way to make money like we make a bunch of money off our apartment that we have in washington dc just because we have an apartment you know we put on airbnb and see these platforms take care of everything you don't have to worry about collecting money you don't have to worry about insurance you don't have to worry about marketing they do it all you know and it's amazing it's so that it's sort of like becoming a uh entrepreneur with training wheels or something like that you know? it's a great way so now because you have a home you know uh, you have an extra room you can make money I mean, people are making five hundred dollars a month or whatever you off an extra room uh people are, are putting tents in their backyard even and renting that out uh, actually it's called airbnb because, because people started with an air mattress in their living room renting that out yeah and, and so there's all ways to make money look at that i got an article there about how to use it or, or how to be an airbnb host or how to how to get money it costs you nothing to try see that's the other thing none of this this stuff now costs any money to try to make money at. That's what's neat. Most of these, you know, schemes or whatever that were on the internet and everything, they wanted money from you. That's how they made money, was getting money from you. You know, here it costs nothing to try. And you only give them a small percent after you get the money. And they collect the money, they check out the money. You know, they do all, all the hard, you know, uh, nonsense stuff. You know, that most of us don't like doing. And that's why this is growing so fast. Okay, another way through pets. Pets is another way. And I'll show you how to do that. People make a hundred thousand, I mean, a thousand dollars a month or so extra because they have another puppy around or something like that for a few days, you know. And, and because there's a growing business in the pet business, there's a website that shows you how to do it, you know. And, and, and just sign up and see, sign up and see what happens. You know, if you have room, you don't have to be a house owner. Or, you know, you can be a renter or an apartment renter and do this. Make money from your parking space when you're not using it that's right just park <laughs> people space i mean that's a you're, you're like a wall street fat cat making your money make money so here you can make your assets make money that's what's neat about it oh here's one for pet lovers there's more about pet lovers. or have people over for dinner right and make money people from out of town love to have local people you know and this has now become a big business so if you like cooking for people <laughs> you can make money at it have friends over for dinner it's not thousands of people like you know a bus drives up to your house you know a nice couple or two couples from yeah <laughs> from somewhere you never heard of <laughs> have dinner with you <laughs> and they're happy to spend money <laughs> that's it now here's another thing is crowdfunding that's another thing you know to make money um uh, and i'll show you soon in real estate but but it's used for anything 
anything. This is now one of the biggest things that's up to $34 billion or whatever they're given last year. And it costs nothing. You don't have to pay the money back. It's free to do. See, that's nothing. All this stuff is free. No income requirements, no credit check. You know, you keep the money forever. No complicated business forms, no business plans, no lawyers, no accountants. All this stuff, when you go out and try to get money for doing anything, that's what you usually have to do. It's fast, you know, and there's no fat cat gatekeepers. Nobody say, well, you can't do this. You know, nobody's going to buy this. Nah, it doesn't matter. You go in the crowds, and the crowds tell you, and it costs nothing to do that. So you know for sure, you know, uh, and you don't do it until they give you the money. Now, I have a, I have a video there shows you how to set up a, a website. You have to remember it costs nothing. Some of these websites only take 20, 30 minutes to do. I have samples of people do this, you know, uh, startup money. They get like a half a million dollars, and they don't even need a product no product hey i'm gonna do this you guys interested <laughs> and if they say yes they give money and then you collect enough money okay i got enough to do it now i'll come back next year send you the product well, that's crazy isn't it i mean would you go to macy's and have them <laughs> walk in here's money i'll come back next year and pick up the product that's what people are doing on the internet why doesn't matter why it's there <laughs> you you're looking for a way to survive this is a tool these are all tools tools now in our society there's dozens of people here i show you my videos here. So i've interviewed like 700 people have done this yeah. uh, also now you could use it for buying a home too crowdfunding money now here i have some articles what i did is i took articles that are out there that i reviewed and everything uh they seem a good place to understand how to do it for, for buying a property, fixing up property, and things like that, how doing it. Then I show you uh, websites that are just for that. I mean, the major websites, if you heard of like Indiegogo or um, uh, GoFundMe and places like that, you know, they're not specific for, for housing. But these that I show you are for housing. So that's sort of interesting. You try both. I don't know what works. Nobody knows what works. You can ask all the advice you, you want. And, and until you try it, you really don't know. Okay. And also for investments. People want to flip homes. That's a big idea nowadays. Well, crowdfunding you could use for that. People are doing that now. Even the, the, the big time, you know, flippers or whatever. <laughs> flippers. Wasn't that a TV show or something? Or <laughs> whatever. And uh, uh, they're using it. because. It's a new way. It's a faster way. It's a better way. <laughs> it's a fun way to get the money you need instead of talking to some stuffy banker. You know, uh, and that's what they have a video of, of a woman who runs one of these sites. You know, that people use for flipping houses and things like that. A couple articles and like, and then I show you other websites that do that. Do that. Now another thing that people really meetups. Meetups are very popular now. You know, that, that people get together in groups and talk about stuff or whatever. Well now. I mean, you go to any city, I mean, there's a hundred, they're, they're like AA meetings, you know? but they're for everything. I mean, you go down, uh, uh, I did it for your city, I did one, and, and you just put in like business and uh, careers or something, and you'll see dozens and dozens, depending on the city, how many there are, and find one for real estate investors. There'll be one, there'll be two, there'll be a dozen, there'll be 20, there'll be 50, or whatever, and just show up. Eh, it costs $20 for a cheap meal or something like that, you know, and that's it. But you find other real estate investors. If you don't know about this stuff, what you're probably doing is going online and, and searching Google, you know, and looking for how to invest in real estate or something, and, and you'll get some huckster like me who will try to sell you something. <laughs> and you don't have to do that yeah you know, and why because then it's painful it costs a lot of money they have courses now thousands of dollars worth donald trump was selling them for like twenty thousand dollars or something how to invest in real estate you go to a meetup <laughs> and actually by the way he started his whole uh empire with a uh, uh government property in cincinnati yeah <laughs> the ones i showed you about up uh, uh, earlier and and so you could go to these groups and find out how other people are doing it and then you have a friend who's in the business who's doing it other people like that that could help you know exactly what's going on in your area because they pr probably already tried it and failed so that's a better way to learn you know, than spending thousands of dollars on, on some course or whatever, and, and who the hell knows what you get. You know, <laughs> Trump's getting sued like hell out of these things. Yeah, I mean, all that. I was involved and I saw this stuff happening, all these get rich quick schemes. <laughs> you know, it just takes effort, and the knowledge is there. Uh, 
and it's just putting it to work and trying and trying and trying. Oh, here's another thing. It's fat cats, angels. And you could go, I mean, what's neat about the internet too is that it, it, it's getting everybody in a barrel. So all these fat cats that are out there want to invest in stuff, they're now all online. They're looking mostly, most of these websites, I'll show you like angels.co, uh, they, they are, they're looking for companies or techie stuff or some kind of small business going. But real estate, I'm sure they'd be interested. You gotta find somebody, but at least you have, like here, for your state, you know, there's over seven, you know, there's four or 5,000 people in your state, fat cats interested in investing in ideas they're right there. Wow. I mean, there are all their contact information is there. I mean, before when I was growing up, you had to you know, belong to the country club or something like that to find uh, help like this or, or get in touch with these people or beat on them or whatever it is. And there's other websites that have similar kind of thing. And then here's what I put in. This is where, you know, government offices that, well, they don't give out money, but they can get your money back. Yeah, because so many people get screwed nowadays, you know, uh, people who don't treat you right and stuff like that. I mean, uh, or you don't know your rights and everybody thinks you have to spend $500 an hour or $200 an hour, whatever lawyers cost anymore, and you know, to get justice, but you don't. You could get the best attorneys in the world to work for you for free. You just have to learn the system and they're there and they have to fight for you. That's what they're there for because they regulate that industry. So it's the cops. See, every business, everybody has cops that they have to report to and you find those cops and they come down. And even if you, the customer are wrong, they have to investigate anyway. So uh, uh, that's what's saying. So you have power in the system this way. Otherwise, if you don't know about this, you have no power to me. Because you have to spend, you know, five hundred, a thousand, two thousand dollars on a lawyer to get back at somebody because they'll just say, No, I'm sorry, or whatever, and get a letter from their lawyer and and their lawyers, even if you get your lawyers, are gonna be better than your lawyer. You go, they do this all the time, you know. But nobody's good. It's sort of like you getting a letter from the IRS that you owe them you know, seventy-five dollars. Well, even if the IRS is wrong, you'll probably pay them, right? <laughs> Just to get it off your back. Well, for business, it's the same way. You know, the insurance company gets a letter that you they owe you five hundred dollars, or you say they owe them five hundred dollars. It's cheaper to pay you the five hundred dollars than to talk to that bureaucracy for the next three months or whatever the hell it is, and possibly lose and, and be fined or be thrown out of business. They have too much to lose by screwing with the government. It's easier to pay you off. So banks are that way. Real estate brokers are that way. You know, insurance companies are that way. You know, even lawyers. Yeah, you know, <laughs> there's even a pot of money. You know, in your state capital for lawyers who ran off with your money. <laughs> so we all that. And then how to check for any uh, any professional. And then also there's a, a national bill or the Federal Trade Commission that uh, you could get, if, if bill collectors don't treat you nicely, you could get $1,000 from them. That's right, get $1,000 from them. i show you how to do that. Oh, you could, it's something you could threaten from. You know, when they say, hey, do you know you're violating the law? And, you know, here's the law, look it up, and here's what I'm gonna pursue. And then I show you how to get free research help on anything. Now, Google is a, a, a problem. It's good, it handles a lot of stuff, but you really have to know exactly what you're looking for. Like up earlier, we talked about, you know, you put in, uh, mortgage debt, and you'll get 170 million websites or whatever, and that's why um, it's just overwhelming. You don't know exactly what to ask for. Now, it's great if you know what to ask for. You're looking for Matthew Lesko, right? <laughs> then you could find everybody like me. But if you're looking for money to solve a problem and you do that, then Matthew Lesko will probably find you because if I spend a lot of money on Google, I want to find people who have that question. And I'm going to spend a lot of money on Google because I know I can maybe get money from you. See, and that's what Google is all about. If it's a place to spend money. If you want to spend money doing something, Google. Because everybody who wants to get money from you spends a lot of time and energy and money trying to figure out Google, how to make sure you see them when you go to Google. Yeah, so that's what those first two videos are all about. Uh, and then I tell you about 211 Org, uh, the organization I list up in above this is i mean these are wonderful because this is a database of all non-profit and government offices that solve problems so nobody in their database will charge you a penny wow
And I, I call him the second best in the, in the world because I feel I'm the best because I'll show you a lot more because I understand more of these things <laughs> you know, than they do. Uh, uh, but this is a wonderful source and I turn to it finding something and checking things. So even on reports, if I, I miss something or whatever, they don't have a lot of stuff I have because I, I, could, I somehow have a knack of taking something that they give and they don't see how it can be used for some reason, like houses for a dollar. You know, they used to call it the Urban Homesteading Act. You know, so if you saw Urban Homesteading Act, you would know what the hell it was, right? It's a house for a dollar, right? <laughs> so, okay, your local library people don't for, yeah, forget about that. That's wonderful. They'll do research for you. They know experts, particularly local sources for money and help. Uh, and then your elected official. Watch this video there we have on, on how to use your elected official because they are the most important source that we all have and they'll work for you for free. They want to do this for free because if they help you with something, you'll vote for them no matter what they do. You know, <laughs> they get caught with their hand in a cookie jar and was, as long as they got you a $50,000 grant or something, you'll still vote for them probably. <laughs> and, and they know that. This is why they stay in business. All their staff is aimed at doing favors for constituents, people like you who are going to vote. And they want to do that. And they have special access to government offices that you and I don't. You and I have to go in the front door. These people have a backdoor phone number to call because the government office gets paid from the congressmen and senators, the elected officials. That's where they get their money. They don't get it from us. We give it to the government and then Congress decides how to spend it. So that's why they keep everybody in Congress happy. So they, they'll, they'll answer a question and solve the problem a lot faster from them than they were with you or me. That's just the way the world works. <laughs> may not be right, may not be you know, justice or whatever, but that's what it is. And it's a system we all have access to it no matter who we are in this country. And that's what I'm trying to do is make sure everybody knows what's available and how to use it because if you don't you're going to go on google and think that's reality when it's not man there's so much there for us all if we just start using it